Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Razorpay and Google Sheets. So the use case here is, whenever there is a new payment in Razorpay, we want to add new row in Google Sheets. First, let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Razorpay is a payment gateway, whereas Google Sheet is an online spreadsheet program. The issue here is that Razorpay and Google Sheets don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is going to help us to transfer data from Razorpay to Google Sheets. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I'm going to go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I'll go to this product section over here and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to sign in. Okay, so now because I have already signed in, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free and create your free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. You can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so I'll scroll down and here at connect, I'm going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and now we are going to create a new workflow. So let us name this workflow as Razor Pay to Google Sheets. Okay, so here what we are actually going to do is we are going to integrate Razorpay and Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. So first I'm going to integrate Razorpay with Pabli Connect and then I will integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So first I'm going to choose Razorpay over here. In choose method, you can see we have many trigger methods available over here. But according to our workflow, whenever there is a new payment captured in Razorpay, we want to add new row in Google Sheets. So for us, payment captured is our trigger method over here. Now you might have a doubt that what is trigger. So let me explain you that automation runs on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, whenever a payment is captured in Razorpay, add new row in Google Sheets. So payment captured in Razorpay is a trigger, whereas add new row in Google Sheet is our action. So you can see these other trigger methods also. If you want, you can also select any other method of your choice. If you don't get a trigger method of your choice, then you can contact our team at admin at the and our team is going to help you. So I'll choose payment captured as it is our trigger method. So now you can see this webhook URL over here. So after choosing an app and choosing the method, we actually have to copy this webhook URL from here and we have to go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is Razorpay over here. So you can read the instructions from here and follow it. So I'll copy this webhook URL from here. I'll go to Razorpay and here at settings, I'm going to add new webhook. Okay, so I'll paste the webhook URL over here. And according to instructions, you can see select payment captured from active events section. Okay, so I'll select payment captured and create webhook. Okay, so webhook saved successfully. We have set our webhook. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to capture the webhook response. So now it is waiting for webhook response. That means now it's time to make a payment in Razorpay. So I've already opened this payment page over here. If you want, you can also make payment page from this option over here. You can see I have two payment page. If you want, you can create a payment page from this option. Okay. So now we are going to buy a t-shirt here. Email Darius at the rate gmail.com Phone number. Okay. Pay 150. Payment methods, I'm going to choose card and I have some test card details over here. So I'm just going to copy this from here and I'll paste it here. Expiry. Okay. Card holder's name. Darius. Okay. CVV. 
A150, I'll skip this. Success. Okay, so you can see our payment is successful. We have done a payment of 150 rupees over here. So I'll go back to Pabli Connect and see if it has captured this information or not. Pabli Connect. Okay, so you can see we have got our webhook response over here. You can see it has captured. Okay, you can see Hamas Casper, MasterCard. The email is here, the number is here. Now, if you noticed, I only did a payment here of 150 rupees. Whereas this has captured it as 15,000. So the issue here is that JSON format doesn't support the decimals. And that is why it has considered the zeros that was after decimal. So what we are going to do is in order to make this correct, we are going to add an action step over here. So first I'll save this. Okay. So I'll add an action step over here and here we are going to trim the amount. So I'll choose API over here. This will be get. So here you have to paste an endpoint URL in order to trim the amount. Okay, so here you have to paste an endpoint URL in order to trim the amount. So our company has already created a URL that is this one. So I'm going to copy this URL from here and I'll paste it over here. You can find this URL in the description box below the video. Okay, so authentication not required, set parameters, I'll click on it. And here I have to trim the amount, so I'll write amount. Here you have to map the amount that was captured in a wrong format. So I'll capture the amount that is this one. Okay, so save and send test request. So you can see API response successful. That means we have successfully trimmed our amount. Now it has come as 150. So I'm going to save it. Okay, so we have successfully finished our first step integration of Razorpay and Pabli Connect. And now I'm going to begin with the second step integration by clicking on this plus button. So I'm going to choose Google Sheets over here. Choose method. You can see we have many action methods available. According to our workflow, we want to add new row whenever a payment is captured in Razorpay. So this is our action method over here. If you want, you can select the other action method as well. And if you don't get the action method of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate and our team will help you. So I'll choose this. Connect with Google Sheets. Okay, so now before connecting with Google Sheets here, I'm going to go and open a blank spreadsheet. Google Sheets. Okay, blank. So let us name this spreadsheet. So I'm going to name it as Razor Pay to Google Sheets. Okay, so now I'm going to enter some fields over here. First, I'll enter email id then amount payment type last i'll enter phone okay so now i'll go back to public connect connect with google sheets so here you have to select the account where you have stored your google sheets so i'm going to allow it Okay, you don't have to worry about your data. It is 100% safe and secure, so you can easily allow it. Okay, so you can see it has already captured some information. The name of my Google Sheet was Razorpay to Google Sheets, and it has captured it over here. This was Sheet 1, and it is same over here. Now, let us map the information that we have got from API 2 and trigger here. Okay, so email ID, email, this is here. Okay, amount, amount you have to get from API 2, which was the correct amount. So it is this one, 150. Payment type, that was card, this one, phone. Okay, so I'll save and send test request. Okay, so you can see we have got the API response. That means we have successfully integrated Razorpay with Google Sheets. So I'm going to save it. Now let's go to Google Sheets and see if it has captured this information there or not. So, okay, so you can see we have got all the information, email ID, amount is 150, payment type is card and the number is here. So we have finished our integration of Razorpay and Google Sheets. 
Now I'll show you this again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So this time I'm going to buy this online course over here. So I'll just write the name. Ria. Last name is Matthew. So the email is Ria Matthew at the rate gmail.com. Okay, phone. Okay, pay 1500. Card. So I'll again enter the test card details from here. Okay, control V. Expiry is 35. Card holder's name, Ria Matthew. CVV is this. Okay. Skip saving card. Success. Okay, so we have done a payment of 1500 rupees successfully over here. Let's go to Google Sheets and see if it has captured this information or not. So I'll come here. Okay, so you can see Ria Matthew amount is 1500, payment type is card and the phone number is here. So now let me tell you what has actually happened over here. I'll just minimize all this. Okay, so what has happened in our example is, First, the information would have come from Razorpay to Public Connect and then it came from Public Connect to Google Sheets. So now every time there is a payment in Razorpay, Google Sheets will have a new row automatically with all the information. So we have successfully integrated Razorpay and Google Sheets with the help of Public Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Public Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.